How about ya? It's Hank from Hamiltonville Farms. Well, no, it's actually not. But uh, his intro is kind of fun to do. So I figured I could do that. But we have a lot of work ahead of us today, folks. There's two fields that need bailing, which I don't really care to do. But there's lots of fertilizing. Field one, which is our neighbor to the north. He's got a big one to fertilize. Field 19 needs to be fertilized, as well as field 21. Now I'm thinking this one here we can borrow. I don't think it'll be too bad. And then uh, for field 1, as well as uh, field 19, we can use our own equipment. Or we could use all of our own equipment on all of them. Because we can accept all of these. Like so. And accept. There we go. We got three contracts. And you know who's ready for a few more contracts? Our little 7810. This guy's just been going hard. He's been really pushing it. So... I'm very happy with the little tractor being our fertilized spreader. I have no problem. He does a great job and uh, you know what? We have other things we need to do yet too. So in the meantime, we're going to set this guy up, get him on his way, and we will do other chores that we have to do. Now see you as we have three different contracts. We can start at any of them we want. I figure it's probably for the better if we start on field number one and work our way down. I think that is probably going to make the most sense. So field number one is just off to the right. We can head on over there. It's finally not raining anymore. That was great. Yesterday's episode or last week's episode, it was raining pretty well the whole way through. So that was not too fun. There's a lot of drifting going on, but we got through it. Our uh, canola there is looking real nice. Can't wait for it to start to bloom. But uh, yeah, here we are. I don't see any plants on his field, but uh, I guess that's not our business. We're just here to fertilize. And that's exactly what we will do. We will hire a worker to go about the business. And we will go start doing some other chores that we need to do. Our truck has been useful so far. We haven't put too many hours on it, but it's been good for us. So we're going to go over to the... Uh, try to see my dog in the back there on my control field. A uh, little weirdo. No, yeah, we're going to do anyway. <laughs> before I got some distracted. We're going to uh, fill up our uh, spreader and our mixer. Uh, get it ready for when we bring the cattle in. Perfect job to do in between. So this one here is only going to require straw. That's not too bad. So I will drive this over to our bale shed and uh, probably get the T6 out. Just like so. There's the T6. And we'll go and uh, start loading some bales into there. Okay, here we are. So, we'll probably just do these one or two at a time. I don't think we need to make a huge stack, a four stack or anything. I don't think I'll be able to fit it into that little wagon anyway if I do four in a row. There we go. Do it now nice and careful so I don't knock off any of the other bales. Yeah, T6 handles these bales beautifully. There's no question in my mind that it can handle these bales, especially with that nice weight on the back. I would say we're pretty golden. We got one contract 10% done. Very nice. There we go. All right, here we go. We'll go and spread some of this bedding. 
Looks like it's not doing too much just yet, but I'm sure the piles will eventually be there. Oh yeah, I'm starting to see it grow a bit. Hey, let's see how many bales it's actually going to take. We got one bale down, second bale started. Looks like there'll be quite a few straw bales. I should have maybe saved up a few more straw bales. Not sure how many it'll take here, but I think we still have plenty. There's a nice big stack there. Should not be a problem. If it is, we'll deal with it. So we've shredded seven bales so far. I just brought another three. Let's see how many more it takes until we're done this entire barn here. Then we got one more barn left to do, so I'm starting to be a little concerned with my straw intake here. But on the good news, our uh, fertilizer is fertilized driver there. He's uh, doing really well. I keep getting notifications from him. As you can see, 56% done. He's halfway done. That's perfect. Just what we want to see. And the bedding here is coming along pretty nicely, I would say. Now, if only that thing would fall in there by itself, that would be great. But uh, yeah, game glitches, right? So it looks like that barn took a total of uh, nine and a quarter bales. So this one here should be, I don't know, four or five bales maybe? Whatever the case, we're going to let him keep shredding while we go and get some more bales for that barn there. Cattle shelter. Got to keep that bedding up apparently. And I'm sure once we get to the uh, bale stack you're going to see I did mess up everything a little bit. Oh well. I guess you can't always win. I'm still going to grab four bales if possible. I believe should. Yeah, those bales in the back, those are the ones that really messed up. Not sure why that happened, but it's just because some other bales got caught in them. Anyway, let's see if we can do this with a little bit of grace. And not tip everything over. So if we could just lay back and I will clamp them shut like so. I think we should be on our way. When handling bales making turns it's always best to keep your weight nice and low. That way you don't run the risk of tipping. And I think at this point I should probably try the gate closer to this end to drive through as we are further to this end now. Ah, uh, yes, there's a gate right about here. Okay. It's perfect. We'll see how we manage. Ah, that was actually not too bad. The bales are glitching really madly. <laughs> but what can you do, right? As long as they stay until I have them more or less dropped into the wagon. Other than that, I don't mind at all. Oh, four is actually a little heavy for the T6. I wonder if the T7 would have better luck with it. Kind of interesting. We can undo those. Well, two of them fell in. <laughs> Not the way we had hoped it would go, but we'll take it. Well, would you look at that. It took all of, what, five bales to do this shed here? And now we're done. Very good. Now we can bring this on back. And we can get the uh, mixer out. Uh, we'll see if we can get the uh, first batch of cattle feed mixed or maybe enough so that we can actually fill all their troughs before we get the cattle ready to go. It's always a bit of tedious work but it's got to be done. So here we go. I just got the notification that field one is done. So we will collect. 
thank you very much. <laughs> That's a nice little chunk of change. Now, the uh, next field on our to-do list is 21 as well as 19. So we'll probably go do 21 and work our way down to uh, 19. All right, field 21. And uh, I tried turning up or filling up the uh, fertilized spreader, but for some reason it wasn't allowing me. So, with uh, without being allowed to, I guess all I can do really is uh, wait until it's empty and then go bring the seed tender or fertilized tender and do it that way. The game is not allowing me to do what I really wanted to do. A little bit higher there. Perfect. That field should take no time before it's all done fertilizing. And then 19 is going to be huge. But it's also a good chunk of money. How are we looking now when you shred that? That filled it up rather beautifully. I wonder if that's going to be full. Hop to that tractor, take a look. 89%. Okay. Okay. So it looks like maybe just a little more hay. There we are. That looks like a proper mix right there. Oh, come on. I'll just drop that right in there. And, uh, yeah, let's start it up and see if we can do some more f mixing get some more cattle feed out there so this is wagon load number two now wouldn't you know it contract 21 field 21 is all done we can complete that and we're off to 19 I don't know where that fella is going but he doesn't need to be going there. You're all done, my friend. Looks like 12%. I'm going to try to reload him again. Just to be sure. Maybe this time I can fill up the wagon, but... That did not take a lot of fertilizer that field. And we'll move this thing on over to uh, field 19, which is huge. You know, I think I know why I, I was not able to uh, fill up any more fertilize. I think my fertilize bin is empty. Am I right? Yeah, I got water, lime, seeds, but I don't have any more solid fertilize and that's why I was not able to fill. So we need to, here's our solid fertilize. There it is, we don't need that much. Let's uh, do another 50,000. There we go. Now I believe we should be able to refill. It's a giant chunk of money though. I hope they're paying for it. And look at that. The uh, wagon is able to get reloaded. So we solved that mystery. That was fun. Looks like everything else is uh, not as heavily used as our sol solid fertilize makes sense though I suppose I actually brought this uh, fertilized spreader to the shop to get fixed a little bit because it has had the uh, most wear and tear out of all my equipment and I figured it was probably about time so yeah, let's get you lined up straight come on there we are I do that straight enough or it's going to leave? No, that looks perfect. Well, this is going to be a while, so I think we can get back to doing what we were doing. We were uh, filling up our uh, feeders here. Alright, back at her. So I just realized that uh, our mixer also calls for a mineral supplement as part of the feed. So what did I do? Went and got me a trailer and uh, bought two skids of supplement. 
Now my biggest concern here is that my safety chains aren't hooked up to anything. I had some laziness on the uh, modders part, whoever made this trailer. But we're not too worried about that right now. I got everything strapped down and my hitch isn't about to rip off. Brand new truck, why would the hitch rip off, right? So yeah, uh, my loading could have also been a little bit better. One strap across the front of a pallet, that is it. That is rather poor. But again, we're not too worried. This is uh, just for now. So I'm going to grab these uh, pallets off with the tractor. Just like so. Let's see if we can find our tractor here real quick. And we're going to uh, attempt to use some of this additive mineral supplements, if you will. Wish I would have thought of that sooner. But, yeah, I guess we uh, all learn at our own pace. Oh, and I dropped one. <laughs> well, there's that. That's 1050, 1050 liters. I'm wondering how much that is going to affect the ratio. Oh yeah, you can tell that, uh, whoa, 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 that is plenty, plenty. You don't need that much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, bring this to the side, and uh, we're going to see if we can perfect our recipe now. So uh, we're all done with feeding all of the uh, cattle troughs here, but uh, I'm noticing a trend here. Uh, one skid of supplement is enough for the wagon that's perfect but you can see my straw bales are over 33 percent and that should never be the case so uh, i think what i am proposing that i do from now on when i do straw bales what i want to do is uh, make them the smallest bales and then have the hay and the silage as large bales I can choose different sizes of bales on my baler. I'm pretty sure my baler can do that. And if it can't, we'll go buy one that can. It's not the end of the world, right? But uh, I just noticed that I'm always over on the straw. And uh, if there's something that can be done about it, why not do something about it, right? So I'm going to add the uh, silage here now. I'm just prepping uh, another load, even though we're all done. Oops, let's not catch that edge there. Just so that uh, the wagon is ready to go. And I believe we will need a little more hay yet. Not to worry, we still have a fair bit of hay. I would say we have enough to uh, do another full feeding. Obviously, we're not going to go through as much as we did now when the troughs were completely empty. So, yeah, we'll have to definitely collect more hay and more silage and straw. But it's not the end of the world. And these grass bales, I'm still not sure what I want to do with them. Grass is kind of useless to us. I might just end up wrapping them up and turning them into silage as well. There we are, so that should balance things out. It looks like supplements are really, really low on the whole scales. 1%. Interesting. And I believe that should be pretty close to a wagon load. Well, let's drop that loader. Turn that off. So that's 81%. That's fine where it's at. What I will do, I will park it where it needs to be. And uh, we can bring the T7 home. No need for it to be uh, sitting out here on the yard. So I think that uh, our cattle are about ready. I just got to deliver some water yet, which is not a really big deal. And once the water has been delivered, then uh, we should be rocking. And this is field 19. We're probably some 60-70% done. Let's have us a look. 66. What did I tell you? 
Uh, once, oh my, there's more contracts here to be had. We definitely want to do all of these fertilizing contracts. We'll accept that one. Uh, Sheila has one for 25. Definitely accept that. We don't care about the bailing as much. We have lots of hay as is. We have lots of our own grass we need to cut. So, there we go. Now we're, we'll just focus on uh, doing fertilizing for now. But we'll do the fertilizing off uh, the episode. Because you guys have seen me fertilize a thousand times. There's nothing to it. Anyway, that should do it for the episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I can't wait to see uh, us bring some cows home. And uh, I'm really much really really looking forward to that if you guys uh, like what you guys were seeing then leave a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel or you just want to follow along with the story and see where we go then hit the subscribe button we're always trying to grow the channel we're always trying to grow the farm and uh, we love doing this and we love to have you coming along with us anyway Thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.